Today we're talking about military mechanics. Pretty straightforward, they're a mechanic and they're in the military. Or at least that's what the recruiter will tell you. You see, to normal people, the word mechanic means that you fix and maintain vehicles. But to Uncle Sam, the word mechanic means you're gonna do anything I tell you to do that kinda, sorta, even remotely involves wheels. On top of being a mechanic, these men and women commonly function as truck drivers, equipment operators, the military version of AAA, and quite honestly, literally anything else. And then when they do get to be a mechanic, guess what? Everything they get to work on is military grade, meaning it was built by the cheapest bidder. If you've never been in a military vehicle, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, absolutely nothing is intuitive. Take everything you know about maintaining and taking care of a vehicle and throw it out the window. Absolutely none of that shit is the same. Unless you were in the military, you don't even know how to jumpstart a Humvee. Buh! The chubby Electron guy's just exaggerating to make his video funny. You would just get jumper cables. Buh! No, I'm not. You try to jump a Humvee with normal jumper cables, you're gonna fry all the electrical. You gotta get these things that apparently cost $500 and nobody knows where the fuck they are ever. Which is super convenient, because you have to use this thing to turn the headlights on and off manually, and the new guy is always gonna forget to turn them off and kill the battery. You're not picking up what I'm putting down, I'm trying to tell you shit breaks constantly, and these are the only motherfuckers that know how to make the wheels on the war wagon go round and round. If these men and women aren't around, everybody is light infantry. I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys in on a life hack. You always want to be friends with the mechanics. Because when stuff breaks down, it's all specialty parts. It's not like you can just go to AutoZone and get it. So these mechanics are experts in tactically acquiring the parts they need to fix a vehicle. So if you're on their bad side and their buddy's truck breaks down, guess where they're going to get those parts? But when there's no parts to tactically acquire, that's when their real genius shines through. They live by the motto, if it works, it's not stupid. You can watch them fix problems and be like, there's absolutely no way that's gonna work, and it works every time. I don't know how they do it. I once saw a mechanic on a land nav course that needed to tie a glow stick to a pole, and he didn't have any string or 550 cord. He walked around till he found a big rock, flipped it over, grabbed an earthworm, and then proceeded to use it like it was a piece of string to tie the glow stick to the pole. Dude, there is no way that's gonna work. Don't worry, I double knotted it. Not only did it work, it's probably still there to this day. Which brings me to my next point, they don't give a fuck about anything. I mean, did anybody notice that this dude's wearing bibs? Like, that's not standard issue. He had to have made those. And then he just wears them around. Because if he's not wearing bibs, you're probably walking to wherever you're going next. They're also responsible for some of the funniest shit I've ever seen in the military. Like that one time that they drove this across the country. And it turned into a national game of spotting it going down the highway. Even better, I know the guys that did that. When they got where they were going, they were drinking and riding it down a sled hill. And their LT came up and told them that they need to wear their helmet and their PT belt. When the LT came back to check on them 25 minutes later, guess what they were wearing? Their helmets. And their PT belts. That was fucking it. Look, I'm just gonna tell you from experience, these guys work with a purpose. And they drink with a purpose. If you're drinking with the mechanics, somebody's getting carried home, and it's probably gonna be you. But hey, they'll always carry you home. In conclusion, if you have the option, you always want to be buddies with the mechanics. Because they can and will save your ass for the low, low price of a 12-pack. Merch and other links available at thefatelectrician.com. Quack bang out.